Right, you've got the piece of software, now you actually need to put in your products, your classes, and your boot camps. This video shows you how. So first of all, uh, on the setup, my products, click on add product class. So what we need to do is now call the product name. So in this case, we're gonna call it uh, the CrossFit Smash 2000, sounds reasonable. And the location name, so we've set the location name up already. There's our available locations, in this case it's Bondi and we product type choose either a class or a boot camp or it's a PT session either or so you choose in this case we're going to set up a class now the default duration so let's choose oh, let's say 30 minutes and your minimum and maximum participants now it's important you get this right because your clients can actually book and pay online for their classes with you so when it falls though below a minimum participants level everybody will actually get an SMS from you a text message and an email to say the class has been cancelled and they'll get their dough back alright so it's important that you put those numbers in there similarly for the maximum participants when you put that number in there um, if more people go and try and book into the class then they'll be told no nah, sorry the class is full so put something in there so so let's just go two people and maximum will say big class will do 30. Now currency, so what are you going to bill it in? So in this case um, we're either in Australian dollars or pounds or euros or whichever currency suits you. So let's just go it's 30 bucks in this, this case and well how much is it? So let's just go it's going to be all oh, class participants now. Gotcha. You go I don't do that knife. I actually do packages. I don't do one-offs. Well, the thing is, you need to put a one-off price. So if someone walked in off the street to your boot camp, all right, or your class, how much would they actually pay? So put something in there, even if you don't charge per session. So in this case, it sounds weird, but I'm going to put in there, say, uh, say five bucks. Co-op amount. Now, if you have a co-op, that means you can refer the class on to other people in your co-op. All right. If you don't have a co-op, you don't know what I'm talking about. That's fine. Leave it blank. You can put it in there later. All right. So you created your product. In this case, as a class, and now you click on done. So what happens is now the product is now saved. If we refresh our page, click on the My Products again. Voila! You can now see that we've got our class, the CrossFit. CrossFit Smash 2000. If I can learn to talk, that would be a bonus. But you can see it's down there. So that's how you add a class in our system.